After taking in the mountains, the Tour of California women's race headed back west for stage three with a fast and furious 70km criterium around the centre of Sacramento. While race leader Katie Hall would be trying to keep safely tucked away in the pack, the sprinters had other ideas. And having seen her sister Kendall take the opening stage, Alexis Ryan was hoping to replicate her sibling's success. I mean, in front of a home state crowd, just and it's just the fact that it's a world tour race, like it would be massive. You know, I haven't won a world tour race yet, so it's a big goal, a big goal of mine, um, and it would make me really happy. We've had a good, good couple of days um, with Sarah in seventh yesterday on the climb. That was great, and um, of course the podium two days ago in this in Elk Grove. So. It'll be exciting. We're feeling good. It's fun. We didn't really know what to expect coming into the week. It's still pretty early in the season for us, so this is this is great. We're all we're all really happy with where everyone is and um, looking forward to this stage. Nice and flat, super fast. I think it's um, it's going to be pretty tough out there. There's a bit of wind, and um, I think because of all the corners, it's, it is going to be quite a hard circuit. So uh, hopefully the legs have pulled up pretty well from yesterday, but yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's the last opportunity for teams to, to get a result, so I think it's going to be on from the gun. There's going to be a lot of attacks, and it's yeah, it's just going to be pretty hard, I think. With 20 laps on the menu, it didn't take long for the attacks to start coming on the state capital circuit. And not long after the rollout, Team Sunweb's Ruth Winder was one of several riders to test her legs off the front. With the peloton maintaining a blistering pace, however, nothing was sticking, and move after move was brought back as the kilometres whittled down. Eight laps into the race, a breakaway of seven briefly managed to get some leeway from the pack, but with race leader Katie Hall's United Healthcare squad controlling things at the front, it wasn't long before they too were reeled in. Soon after, Sunweb was involved in the action again, when Leanne Libert went away with Hagen Berman Supermint rider Lisa Ricchetto. But, like all the moves before them, their time out front was short-lived. As the race entered the closing stages, no breakaway had managed to build up any kind of significant lead, and with five kilometres remaining, it looked like things would stay that way, as the peloton prepared for anticipated sprint to finish. There was still time for a few more attacks, however, and after a brief effort by Jess Cara, it was Katie Compton's turn to give the crowd something to cheer. The US national team rider and cyclocross legend was soon joined by Sunweb's Peniel Matteson. But with just three laps remaining at that point, they knew they would not be allowed to get much of an advantage. With the pack all back together heading into the final lap, the sprint trains were out in full force. And as the race rounded the final bend into the finishing straight, the likes of Sunweb, Canyon Sram, Astana and Wiggle High Five were all visible on the front. Rally cycling were also well represented, and after Alexis Ryan started her kick early, 20-year-old Emma White was immediately brought up to her wheel. Elena Sierra was also well placed behind the Canyon Sram rider, and with Corinne Rivera boxed in behind them, the Cuban saw her chance. Slipping through a tight gap, she put the throttle down and blasted past Ryan, beating the American to the line to take her first win at a World Tour level. With Ryan having to settle for second, the pair were joined on the podium by Rally's White. Katie Hall, meanwhile, finished comfortably in the pack to secure the GC victory, ahead of Taylor Wiles and Cassia Nuadoma, respectively, while also claiming the Queen of the Mountains jersey. Emma White's sprinting success saw her take home the points jersey, while her teammate Sarah Podivar topped the young rider classification. There was also one more trip to the podium for Hall as United Healthcare finished first in the team classification. I am feeling very happy because the first stage went badly. There was a rider that crashed into my wheel and I could not go for the sprint. Then yesterday was hard for me. I really thought I was not going to finish the stage. So I'm very happy with the victory and already waiting for the next opportunity. Definitely a confidence booster here. Um, this team has been great for me, for, for the rest of them. Like it's just, it's such a, such a special place and I'm, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We've got quite a ways to go. We have nationals coming up and um, we're also heading to Europe, which will be great to get, a, get some more of this. <laughs> um, 
So uh, we're really, as a team, we're really confident. We're we're working hard, and we're we're really working well together. So I, we're excited to see what what happens the rest of the season. It feels amazing. This is actually the third year that I've worn the yellow jersey, but the first year that I've gotten to keep it. And so I've been working on this win for a couple of years now, and I feel just really good to get to go home with the win. Confirmation then of the day's results, where Rivera comes in fourth ahead of Wiggles, Annette Edmondson and US teenager Skylar Schneider. In the GC, three Americans made it into the top ten in their home race, with Hall's teammate Leah Thomas securing eighth place. Despite not racing in California, Anna van der Breggen holds onto the World Tour lead, but Nuodoma moves up to second thanks to her podium finish. And in the young rider standing, Sofia Bertozzolo remains a healthy lead as Sarah Podivan enters in the top ten.